Okay, so I'm setting up to cut some angle iron, and I'm thinking to myself, this is probably a good time to show how to read a tape measure. I didn't know how to for the longest time, and like, well, I was like 20, I learned. Somebody actually had to show me. It can be embarrassing. So here's our tape measure, and it's pretty shitty. So it's already marked. And here. Trying to do two things at once, and this is dizzying. Okay, so here we see. That's probably better if I can do that. On the white line, I go from the one inch. And you see there's a white X. The white X means that the white line is on that side of the one inch mark. And we keep track of this because that's where we put our cut and we remove our material. And on this side, see, same thing. We've got the X marked here. We've got the line there. That way when we cut, we know we remove the white line, but no more. Or when we're approaching the end of the white line, we stop. Because if we flap wheel, we remove material, yada yada. Now when you cut, it's good to start like in here so like start just a little bit in or wherever like your waist is just do a little bit and see how much how wide of material you're removing because that's all waste so sneak up to it do whatever you want but in that way you can use cutting disc, you can use torch, you use whatever, but when you do your little test, take a little mental picture and remember that. And that's basically it. So why use the one inch mark? Um, here, see the end of this? Maybe not. But see how much that moves there now? That is mistrust. That's as bad as propaganda almost. That's, at least it's not misrepresenting like propaganda. And it's all bent and you can't read it and it's shitty. So as long as you have clearance, clearance, go from the one inch line. And it, like it works. I worked fitting with the, the guy who showed me, who was a welder and we did, I, I worked kind of like a fitter. I just, I cut stuff for him. He had knowledge and he was teaching me stuff. I was probably, I was working as a mechanic, but I helped him out more than anything, and in turn, I learned stupid simple shit. So passing it on, that's how you actually run a tape measure.